Before coming to Camp Ayande, Ashkan had only one Iranian American friend, and his Farsi was fairly weak. You know, before I felt like I was almost walking the fence, you know, between um, being Iranian and being American. That all changed when he attended Camp Ayande for the first time in 2009. He quickly discovered something new about himself. Originally, I felt more guilty that I wasn't in touch with my Iranian side. I felt more like I wasn't as in touch with my family. But uh, through being in Camp Ayende, I've learned that I have the opportunity to actually learn more and grow and become even more in touch. That all is not lost just because I didn't know it originally. Ashkan's story of self-discovery is a new. Maneuvering between two cultures as a second-generation immigrant has been a challenge in this melting pot of country from its beginning. But at Camp Ayande, everyone shares living a double life, being American at school, but Iranian at home. And some of my hobbies and interests are slam poetry and learning different languages, and I'm passionate about fair trade. Yes, she said slam poetry and fair trade in the same sentence. Roxane has no problem walking the line between the two cultures. She credits her mother for that. Even though a lot of the things that we talk about and learn at camp in terms of Iranian American identity and history, my, I've been taught from my mom, I still like it because Camp Ayanda teaches it from a different angle, so it's still equally as enlightening. But since I like, have such a strong foundation, I know that my values are still going to be like deep within me, my Irani values, and I'm going to keep that alive. Um, the very first year I came to camp, it became like a second home to me. Lily, who will be a freshman at the University of Michigan this fall, spoke on a simple cultural disconnect when dealing with non-Iranians. She politely rejected a ride home from a friend with whom she was engaging in Tarif. They didn't understand like the concept that I was trying to be polite and like, you know, you have to kind of push, which is something that I don't think Americans still can understand when I try to explain it in um, my English classes or my Spanish classes, you know, the language differences, like there's no word for it in English, so Americans just naturally don't understand it. One theme at this year's camp was solidarity with Arab Americans, another large diaspora in the United States. Despite their differences, they have shared similar experiences since 9-11. As part of this year's effort to engage and learn from the Arab American community, camp organizers invited Omar Effendim, a rapper of Syrian American descent. Nida can especially relate to this. After 9-11, she distanced herself from Iranian heritage. My name's Netta, so I actually asked people to call me Ned, a more American name at some point, and I even begged my mom to like let me dye my hair blonde. But camp put things into perspective. But then when I came to Camp Ayanda, I realized that like that is part of who I am, and it was a part of like my face that I had been hiding for so long. And when I came, I literally felt like I could truly be myself, and I felt like I got to show my face to other people. After returning home that year, she started an Iranian alliance club and invited Americans for Mehmoniz, an Iranian gathering with family and friends. Neda speaks of a newfound tolerance and respect among students at her high school. They've realized I've accepted myself and thus they are able to accept me. Kamran senses a kind of kinship with other immigrant communities. It's not necessarily just being an Iranian American. We talk about issues here, um, racism for one thing. Racism. They're, we're not the only, obviously not the only uh, ethnic group that has to deal with racism. Camp thought Kamran that leadership qualities and power through education can be a powerful force, not just for Iranians, but for everyone. While Camp Ayande is intended for Iranian American high school students, the message they take away from it isn't one of nationality, but how to be a better citizen of the world. Arash Azizadeh, Voice of America, Northern California. Oh, my